Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to set up uh, an R notebook that will run uh, the Tidyverse package. Uh, we'll install that package um, and then we'll do some load in some data for the Titanic and then implement very simply uh, a couple of functions from the ggplot2 and from the plier. So to get uh, R to run in uh, Google Colab, typically Google Colab is for uh, executing Python code, but uh, one of the nice uh, features of the Google Colab is that it allows other progr programming languages to be used as well, and R just happens to be one, and that's really nice. So let's just get the ball rolling by um, running uh, the uh, magic sauce uh, for R. So that just means we can implement R by um, loading in this uh, library. Uh, we're also being set up here in terms of our space in the server. Um, so that looks okay. Now we take a normal R code, right? We can implement directly. If we didn't have, for instance, the double percentage sign and then R. So for instance, if uh, that was uh, neutralized and we tried to run, uh, we would come up with an, an error. So once you're in the Google Colab and you've loaded in, uh, the, executed this command, then subsequently for any R code you want to run, you must have that double percentage sign with R. And we're installing the Tidyverse package and then we're making the Tidyverse package available locally. And you can see uh, that the suite of packages in Tidyverse is now available. So we have ggplot and the plier, tibble, tidier, reader, forecats, and stringer. Um, okay, so that's a basic installation. It's uh, very um, uh, straightforward. Uh, in fact, it is uh, uh, reasonably streamlined. It's um, uh, simple to implement. Okay, for just to load in then a set of data, uh, a data set, I'm going to use uh, data from the Titanic, uh, Titanic tree. And Titanic tree is uh, a data set uh, that uh, has been um, updated. So there's been a number of iterations to the Titanic data set. The Titanic tree is one of the more um, refined uh, curated data sets for the passenger list. It's only for the passenger list. Uh, so we have records of 1,309 passengers and the, we have the varying categories um, uh, columns of data and uh, that's uh, extremely handy. So it means we don't have to load in if we want to put the data in. Uh, normally uh, you might have to upload here uh, a CSV file. We don't have to go through that. So that makes that a little bit more convenient. And okay, so that's gone in. Uh, can we check that uh, what's in there? We just uh, run glimpse. Uh, it's a deployer uh, syntax. Um, and that basically allows us to observe the data that's there. Um, if we want to implement, okay, so if, okay, the we have the P class, the passenger class, whether the individual survived or not, the name of the individuals, the sex, and so on, all the way through. Uh, to execute then a deployer syntax where we just observe um, from the Titanic tree data set, the uh, count the number of people uh, who survived, um, and then obviously who didn't, we have uh, 809 who didn't survive, and we have 500 who did one here denotes survived, zero uh, denotes drowned, right? And then if we wanted again to run the ggplot, which is available in the tidyverse suite, right? We just run and we get a, a basic uh, graph that uh, visualizes uh, the output that we have here for the tibble. Um, and we can see that again, 500 uh, survived. 
and 809 out of the 1,309 passengers uh, drowned, right? And if we wanted to add a little bit of labeling on, again, using the ggplot2 package inside Tidyverse, um, we just uh, uh, put in some labeling tid tid Titanic passenger survival numbers on the vertical axis number of passengers. Okay, so we can add, we can blend. Uh, the ggplot2 has a lot of uh, syntax we can incorporate in that enriches the visualization and we'll develop that further in uh, additional uh, Google collabs that I'll put up on the site.